Do top and bottom already? Mm -hmm. No, we never did top. I never did oh, bottom. Oh, yeah, we did top. Oh, no, I did both. No, you're right. Okay, so how short are we? No work. That's okay. So let's take this pallet now. Or we could just wait. No, that's okay. Watch out. It still isn't good. Yeah, hmm is right. And it was shorter, Dad. See? If we kick this out more, that might build us a bit of room, or do we try and pull this out a bit? Did get on the bottom there? Uh come this way a teeny bit. That's good. Yeah, I guess we should have put a block here too, hey? So we, we came out the other night and we had a bit of a panic with one of our ewes. We're figuring that maybe our ram got in with the herd a little bit prior to us knowing. So we think that one of our lambs is gonna be having babies here within the next couple days. We just finished a cold snap, expecting a bunch of snow here over the next few more days. So we're making this makeshift lambing pen just so that we don't get caught with lambs on the ground uh, without any kind of straw or bedding. So we're just finishing this up now, spreading some straw, get some feed in here, some hay, some water, and stay tuned for some more videos. Uh, with some hopefully some babies. I think it's hot. Okay. We never talked to him. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we doing a hay there? Is it hay, folks? Hi, team. <laughs> hey there. Hey there. <laughs> Good morning. We are here sitting in our brand new lambing pen. We came out Don't to do. do no, no pan panning. <laughs> no <you're> panning. <laughs> All right, so we came out last night to do the chores, and we thought we would have at least a couple weeks before our sheep decided to start having babies. But we are coming off of seven days of below minus 20 degrees Celsius. So we think that the stress of the cold and just the miserable weather has prompted our ewes to think about having their babies a little early. So we don't have a barn. We've only been here for less than a year or just over a year, I guess. So we decided to just use pallets, which we had laying around from our hay pile to create a little makeshift lambing house for these guys so they can have a safe place to have their babies. So we slapped some pallets together, grabbed some straw, we got water and some hay and some grain, and we're on baby watch. So we will be back with some more videos, keep you guys updated on the progress of our first lambing season here on the farm. So stay tuned, thanks. She'll go. I think we should put all the ewes in. I think she's ready to go. Take too. everybody in. Just go right in. Bad? Shake it. Yep. Oh, everybody. Separate the right. Yep. We'll herd them out. Or shut the gate right now, Ava. This is Felicia. This is her mom, Fiona. Then we have our little black headed one over here is Bailey. And this black one here is very originally called Blackie. <laughs> and we think Miss Fiona here 
is about the size of a house. <laughs> She's started to get a nice bag on her and she is quite swollen and soft through her little derriere there. So we are pretty sure she's about 24 to 48 hours away from popping out some babies. You guys wanna take any guesses on how many she's got in there? Look at her. Three. You think three? Yeah. How many do you think, Zoe? I'm hoping four. <laughs> Ava? Three, I think. You think three too? Or two. Three All or two. right, I'm gonna go with two big fat babies. All right, oh, our battery's gonna die. So this is our nice little lambing pen that we have here. It's the first time we've ever done use with lamb, so we're gonna see how it goes. And we have over here, where'd he go? This is our sad, lonely little ram now. We just took him away from his girl, so he's a little upset with us. Hey, buddy. There you are. He's so handsome. All right. Stay tuned for Baby Watch.